I want to bring up something. I want to just throw in something that I find very funny and very beautiful uh, that has not so much to do with uh, the language of the Quran, but rather with the authorship of the Quran. Uh, I just thought about that, and I have to I have to throw this in here because I find it so so nice. So here is a Quran verse which says, "Which uh, <laughs> this is funny." And we certainly know that they say it is only a human being who teaches him. The tongue of the one they refer to is foreign, and this recitation is in a clear Arabic language. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the, what this grammar is actually uh, saying, so it, it is saying that they, they say, so the people around Muhammad who doubt Muhammad's message and who doubt these all these recitations and their divine origin, they apparently say it is only a human being who teaches him. So there is somebody there among them who teaches Muhammad these things, which is why he is making up these uh, these revelations, because he gets these from some uh, guy who is among these people. Yeah. And then the Quran later clarifies, but the language of that guy that you are referring to is foreign. And this Quran is in clear Arabic language, so it can't be that he's taking it from that, from that guy. But it's it's funny that the Quran is actually... It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, one of us should make a video called like Allah's dumbest responses to <laughs> arguments right because he has things like this right like and they yeah, ask yeah. why isn't muhammad sent with a miracle and allah's response is because other people from other generations had rejected miracles therefore you don't get any it's like wait yeah, that doesn't yeah. make that doesn't make any sense <laughs> but this is another one that just doesn't make sense right it's like the accusation is that muhammad is getting these revelations there you got it there you have it ap uh-huh Oh, the, ac the accusation is that Muhammad is getting these revelations from this guy that he's talking to. It, 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 in the Muslim source, they don't even know uh -huh. who that's referring to, right? Yeah. And yeah. so, in other words, traitor, and, apparently. And, yeah. and, and this is apparently the reason that Muhammad was called the ear, or that people would say he's all ears and believes whatever anyone tells him, is that this guy's telling him, hey, you know, let me tell you about Jesus. Hey, let me tell you about Moses. Hey, let me tell you about this. Let me tell you about that. Let me tell you about dual carnate. And Muhammad's, and Muhammad's listening to this dude, and he's coming out the next day and saying, I have received the revelation from the Almighty, praise Allah, <laughs> right? And so he would come out there and the people are noticing this going, wait a minute, you keep talking to this dude who has all these stories and then the yeah. next day you come out and you've got this story that you received from Allah, right? Yeah. And they point yeah. this out, but then Allah gives a response and says, no, 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 no. That man is not a native Arabic speaker, whereas the Quran is in Arabic. So there's no way that Muhammad could be getting these stories from this other man. Now, now you Muslims are watching. Do you not? Do, do you really not understand how stupid and insane this is? If I write a if I write a book right now, I say, look, ladies and gentlemen, I wrote a book. It's called <laughs> Crime and Punishment. <laughs> it's about this guy. His name's Raskolnikov, and he murders some people and to, to take their money. And then, you know, he eventually goes to jail after he confesses and stuff. And man, it's a real page turner that I just wrote. And you say, wait a minute. You're not the one who wrote that. Dostoevsky wrote that. And my response is, what are you talking about? Dostoevsky wrote in Russian, and this book's in English. <laughs> so there's no way I got the story from him. There is no person on this planet stupid enough to fall for that. There is no, out of out of the seven billion plus people on this planet, seven billion plus would see right through that and think that is the most idiotic response anyone has has ever has ever uttered and yet <laughs> we go to the quran and when muhammad is accused of plagiarizing stories from this dude that he keeps getting stories from allah's response is no that's impossible this is in arabic whereas that guy that guy's not a native arabic speaker I, I think you have to insane. you have to visualize how these how these revelations how these Quran verses come into existence. These revelations come into existence by Muhammad simply uh, sitting there or standing there and having an episode or something and just starting to sing these or, or to speak these Quran verses in a very strange way. And people around him then notice that ah, this is a revelation from Allah. So uh, so what is happening is that Muhammad just keeps talking to this guy. He keeps talking to this guy. Comes out and gives the revelations from Allah. After after he talks to that guy, he gives out revelations that rhyme in, in a strange way. And people then come and say, dude, it looks like you're just getting these stories from that guy 
over there because you keep talking to him and then you come in here and you start rhyming. What is that about? It looks like you are just getting this stuff from him. So what, and then what Muhammad does is he goes back and then he goes, oh, I'm receiving a revelation. I'm receiving a revelation right now. Hold on, guys, 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 quiet. Alhamdulillah! Guys, guys, please, quiet. I'm receiving a revelation. They say that he only receives this from a human being, but the person they refer to, he speaks a different language, but this is in pure Arabic. Subhanallah. And that solves the problem. This is how Allah quickly intervened and saved Muhammad from embarrassment. Fantastic. And Allah, Allah <laughs> responded. Allah responded from all eternity. So keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> yeah. Allah knew from all eternity that Muhammad would be accused of plagiarizing from this guy that he keeps talking to. Yeah. And yeah. Allah had all eternity to figure out how he's going to solve the, how he's going to answer this accusation. And he could have just had the guy never meet Muhammad so that he could never, the, the accusation would never come up. Instead, Allah comes up with his response, which is translation from one language to another is impossible in all circumstances. <laughs> That's so tough. Why does the Quran even dumb. deal with this stuff? I mean, why why does the Quran yeah. even spend time responding to these yeah. things? In yeah. such a Allah, way? Allah would have been better off just keeping quiet about yes. this, right? Just yes. ignore the accusation. Because every time he responds to an accusation, it's the stupidest response I've ever heard. Like yeah. any, any five-year-old would be able to see through this immediately this this verse here is causing doubts mm -hmm. in people's minds additionally it sounds very stupid it is embarrassing it is bad. laughable and muslims sit there trying to save the quran from embarrassment what is the point of doing this mm -hmm. is this really the the almighty brilliant allah the giant uh mind of the creator i mean i'm not as yeah. stupid as to do something yeah. like this what mm -hmm. the hell is this yeah Th <laughs> yeah keep in mind no one is right like yeah. <laughs> th this is this is what you you muslims are telling you this is what you're telling me about god Right. This is this is why this stuff actually ticks me off. You're talking about God here, and you're telling me that the creator of the universe is trying to answer an objection, and he gives an a response that is so stupid, <laughs> that is so insanely stupid, that no one except for Muhammad's immediate followers would would believe it for one second because well, you, you have to believe it or you get your head chopped off. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like you have to be literally threatened with your head being chopped off in order not to see through this immediately. That's how bad Allah's responses are. All right. All right. All right let's let's go. Let's go.